My name is John and I'm part of the Drive HUD 2 team. And in this video, I'm going to be going over what this R&D section is all about and how to use it to analyze your game in some interesting and unique ways. I'm going to be focusing on one of the pre-built R&D builds called Seabedding and Single Raise Pot. I uh, made a small modification to it so I can explain what that is and I'm going to cover how to custom build a widget and in another video, we're going to go into more detail about how to custom make some of these uh, R&D builds and how to lay out the X and Y axis into two different grids as well as 3D model. But for right now, in this video, I'm going to dive into this and show you uh, what kind of data it'll produce so you can learn some things about your game. So let's get started. So first off, if you can, I'd recommend opening up Drive HUD 2 and watching the video and following along with me on Drive HUD 2 in parallel. If you can't, if you don't have the desktop space, just follow along. I promise by the time we get to the end of this video, you'll understand uh, most of what R&D can do. Uh, so if you click on the top here, the first option you'll see is CBET single raise pot. Uh, you won't see this one here because I made a duplicate of this and uh, added an additional widget, which I'll explain as we go through this video. So I'm going to go left to right here across these widgets and give a little overview of what they are. So the first widget results is looking at your net one in this case. So it's the total um, amount one in this R&D build, see betting and single raise pot. The best, again, this is taking uh, an algorithm based on sample size and big blind per 100 win rate and it's looking what it uh, sees as the highest EV play considering both of those factors kind of laid out on a bell curve um, you know if you have a really small sample but extremely high win rate for something it's going to kind of look at that versus uh, higher sample lower win, win rate and compare um, at what point does the smaller but higher win rate win over and vice versa. Um, so going next to the right here, success is looking at the success rate which is set up here. So how often am I uh, winning this pot when I see bet in a single raise pot? And then as you move here, uh, position in some of these widgets that you can click on. If you click on them, it'll list the same data point by position so you can see what your success rate is by position. You can right click on the graph and click refresh and then that'll always go back to the initial starting point that you began at. Um, in this case, uh, betting and single raised pot. And then as I move forward here to the right, texture and opponents, these are filters that I can build upon other things. So now I'm looking at this data and information. Okay, this is great, um, but I also want to look at how this relates if I'm on um, a rainbow flop. So how much does that change? Does it change anything? I can see my success change. My uh, my C bedding option as far as what's the best size is kind of close to roughly the same. Um, starts building a better case for 33 to 50%, but still 25 to 33%. Now, okay, so I have all this information, see bedding single raise pot, rainbow. I also want to see, you know, when I'm in a multi-way pot, so when I have two opponents. So I can add that. Now I'm looking at see bedding and single raise pot and a rainbow flop versus two opponents. And I can take a look at this information and see, okay, well, now it's kind of building a stronger case to 33 to 50% to 50 to 60%. Um, and... Also, you can click on these data points here and it'll load the hands that relate to the filter that you just built. So you can replay these or export them or whatever you want to do. I can go back here and change this to just one opponent, which is the most common scenario. So now I'm rainbow pot, single raised pot against one opponent. And then I can continue down the line here. Uh, went to showdown. This just gives you a quick view, okay. I'm going to show down in this scenario 20.1% of the time. Um, bet versus skipped C bet 24.1%. That's uh, pretty straightforward. This last widget is one that I built and added that you won't have 
from the uh, default R&D C-Betting Single Race Pot Widget. If you click on this, this adds more of a three-dimensional um, point, and I will uh, have this particular widget that I build here uh, available for download. I'm also going to build another widget in this, and you can import this into DriveHood 2 and take a look at this data as well for yourself. Uh, so since we have some data points here with zero, it's because we have the texture set at rainbow. I'm going to set this at all because for this widget, we're looking at kind of uh, three data points combined and we can graphically see um, trips on a low paired board is yielding the highest results. Where am I losing money? Uh, with high card on based on different flop textures, no flush possible, rainbow, two-tone, monotone. Again, I can also click on these and load any hands that relate to high card, rainbow flop, sea bedding in a single raised pot. And so this uh, is a different widget than any of the ones that are built in here. Again, because this has uh, three data points where you're adding um, extra ranges for the X and Y axis and not just the X axis. So uh, in this case for Y I'm adding hand strength and I'm adding additional ranges so they show up in this format and when you do that when you add this as a three-dimensional model then you'll get uh, these circles um, that um, I believe by default go to green and red, but you can set them to whatever you want. We'll highlight when you uh, are winning or losing based on the scenario. So you can see kind of a lot of info all at once um, right in front of you, which is very cool. And then I'm, I'm going to build a widget here. So now we know, um, you know, I can look at this info again. I can refresh back to the starting point and we know we can add texture and opponents but let's say I also want to build upon that and look at hand strength while I'm changing my texture and my opponents so I'm gonna create a widget here so I'll just click plus here down at the end this will bring up a pop-up and I'm gonna call this uh, hand strength and I can actually just kind of type this in and it should come up it'll auto populate down here and you can manipulate these uh, hand ranges, which I think I will. Well, high card, pair, two pair, trips, straight, flush, full house. For now, I'll leave that, but you can also click add a range, and you'll have a drop down here that you can add or start typing and, and add one. Um, and I will keep net one as my Y axis. So actually, I'm going to change this to I'll change it to big blinds per 100 and I will set a color not that color I let's go with some purple because I haven't added any in here and click save all right so now if I look at go back and we'll look at rainbow texture again uh, one opponent and then I'll add hand strength in here and we'll just say how am I doing in this scenario with high card so if we follow my success rate it looks like based on sample size my best result here is 33 to 50 percent of the pot still and in this scenario with high card that's really my best result now uh, in another video, I'll break down how you can edit this, and we can refine this x-axis into smaller chunks. So if you really want to see, you know, if, if you really are alternating your bet sizes uh, very slightly, let's say 33 to 38%, or, you know, 39 to 42 or 43%, uh, depending on kind of how your own game um, is played, you can set that up and, and change these X access points uh, so you can see this refined a little bit more um, it's all you can refine this however you want and really you just click on here and this is the main 
this gear icon is the main X and Y axis for the uh, for the R and D build that you're editing and playing around with. You can rename it. You can remove ranges or add ranges accordingly. Again, um, in another video, I'll break this down uh, more fine. I kind of wanted to give a good overview of what this can do. So you can continue to add more widgets um, if you want to manipulate the data more. Um, you can also uh, zoom in to an area, just highlight, and I can zoom in here. And again, uh, I can refresh back to the original point or unzoom back out. By just right clicking um, any of this I can analyze further go in and click here and review my hands as well run them through uh, equity, equity calculations if there's spots that I'm kind of so-so uh, on um, but just so you can see there's just three main areas where you can change the data which again is this gear icon which this sets up and the main X and Y access points for the R&D build. You can uh, click here and you can add in more stats. If I want to look at, let's say, my big blinds per 100, um, I can just start typing here, add big blinds per 100, add a label, select a color, click save, uh, and then it'll add my big blinds for 100. Of course, depending on what data um, that you're adding here, it's going to manipulate and change your graph. But then again, I could, if I really wanted to look at specific areas, I can zoom in, analyze it further. You can also uh, export any of the graphs. Um, so you can post in forums, and you can edit the chart types that you want if, if you want to make it more of like a step step line or just an area let's just say regular line refresh this will take us back to the initial point of course um, so all of that is um, changeable and then the last area that you can edit is adding more widgets now you can also right click on any of the widgets at any time if you want to add um, in this case, let's say hand strength, I wanted to add a few more different hands to look at. Um, or if I just wanted to delete the, will to, the widget itself, I can just right click and remove. And then again, plus here to add another one. Um, so this should just give you a good idea of kind of where to start. And there's several pre-built um, uh, R&D builds that you can go through and look at some really interesting spots. Uh, we'll continue to uh, build a whole lot more as we refine this process and you can export anything that you build yourself and share with somebody else and vice versa and you can import them and then you'll have all the data points that they analyzed. So this is especially handy if you're working with a coach or someone that, that really knows how to analyze data really well. They can build whatever they want, hand it off to you and say, here, like, I want you to look at these places in, in your game and you'll be able to do that really easily. And they can build several of them and run them through uh, you. Um, so it's, uh, it's pretty awesome and we'll continue, like I said, to build uh, more pre-built widgets and R&Ds um, but this should get you going, and um, this should add some more insight into your game, and I wish you much success at the tables, and good luck.